Hi guys, welcome back to our virtual art room. So this week I have something a little more fun planned because I know you guys have been working hard on your art projects and they have been looking really good. Um, but this one takes a little less time, it's a little more fun. So I've talked a lot about reflections in class and obviously what this one is is an eye. It would be your eye. And the reflection is the thing that you are looking at. So I know as we are in um, social distancing and not really able to go a lot of places right now, it makes us think about our favorite places to go outside of our home. So I want you guys to think about what your favorite place is, maybe what place you are most excited to go to once all of this is over and we can go back into the outside world and travel around a little bit. One of my favorite places is the beach, and I did make this look a little more tropical than our actual beaches that is close to here, but I did that just so it would look a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make your eye, and then you have um, freedom to do whatever you want in the center of your eye. So what you're going to start out with is a blank sheet of paper turned landscape or horizontal. Now I want you to look around your house and find something very circular, perfectly circular, and you are going to trace that circle in the center of your paper. And I'm going to do mine lightly because we are going to be erasing a little bit of it. All right, we have our circle. So you can go ahead and put the pupil of your eye in the center, that is also a circle, and we will go back and color that in with some uh, black marker later. So the next thing we're going to make is the top eyelid. So I'm gonna start up here by covering a little part of the top of our circle. And it's gonna come down this way and it's gonna come down this way. I'm just making one big curved line. Then right here, at the little crease of our eye, it does a weird little curve and comes down like that. And then the bottom of our eyelid is gonna cover the bottom of that circle too. Now there's a lot more details to our eyes, but we're not gonna worry too much about all that. And the back of our eye kind of comes down a little bit more dramatically than the top of our eyelid. And this is actually giving it a little extra space, but we wanna make sure we have enough room to work with in the center here. And I like to go ahead and do some little details. So we do have some crevices right under our eye. So I'm gonna highlight those a little bit. We have some crevices above our eye. And I don't really have enough room for an eyebrow. The eyebrow would probably like start right here and then go up a little bit, and it kind of comes over your eye. So if you want to make an eyebrow, you could. I'm just gonna leave my eyebrow out of this. And also, we have our eyelashes, and I like to make my eyelashes kind of curve off to the side. And if you don't want to include your eyelashes because you think they look girly, that's fine. But we all have eyelashes. And we also have eyelashes down here. 
but they're a little bit shorter. All right, you've done the hard part. Now you can do the fun part, and that is drawing something in the center of your eye, which is the place you most want to go once we are done with this whole quarantine, social distancing, whatever. Not whatever, it's a big deal, but you know. So I drew the beach first off. Maybe I could draw the mountains next. I want to go to the mountains because I actually did have to cancel a trip to Boone during this um, quarantining, social distancing thing. So I'm really missing the mountains. So I could draw, that's what I could draw. And I might start by drawing some trees. So we got our trees down there and then we have some of our hills kind of close. Okay, so I'm going to take my crayons and color in this bottom part. All right, so I finished coloring the bottom part of my mountains and Based on the picture, so on my iPad, I actually just pulled up a picture of the North Carolina mountains, and the mountains that are closer to me are darker, and the ones further away are lighter. And that's because there's a very light sky right here that's reflecting down on these, but the ones closer to me are in the shadows. So I meant to say this before, if you guys have paints and watercolors you want to use at home, you are always welcome to use them for projects. If all you have is crayons, if all you have is colored pencils, that is completely fine to use. But I do want to let you know that if you have these things, you are always welcome to use them if I'm just using crayons. So I'm gonna come in with some of my watercolors and finish up my sky. And remember, your crayons will repel the watercolors. All right, my sky turned out a little dark, and that's because I did not erase my pencil lines. Probably should have done that. All right, and then the last thing is the pupil, and my paper is wet now, so I'm just gonna use some black watercolor to do the pupil. And then I can take a black marker and go over the outside of my eye.
All right, and then the very last thing you're gonna do is go back over with your skin color. So everybody's skin color is a mix of a couple different colors. So you kind of have the base, which is some form of brown or peach. So I would do your little base color first. And then everybody has some variations, some different colors within. So in these creases, I might use some brown to get some shadow. I may use some pink or some red. And go back over like that. So you just want a little bit of color around the eye like that. And then you're done. So make sure you upload a finished picture to me. You can add a little comment if you want to telling me about what is um, on the reflection of your eye, why you wanted to go there, um, why you want to go there, because we will be able to once again. Um, and just let me know how you're doing, guys. All right, I hope you have fun with this project. Bye.